All right, let's try this again. Good evening, hustlers. I'm trying to share out my other screen. Share this. Bring it there. Do you guys see that? Uh, let me see here. Let me see how it looks like on on the live feed. Okay, looks good. Two, you guys hear me? Okay. What up, Va? Ninja Hustler. <laughs> it's nighttime. Yes. I guess I could be a ninja. So let me see if I can change the view. How about that? Turn it the other way around. How about the other way around like this? All right. Let me get this over here. We want to congratulate our let me move this over here today we're doing two things we want to congratulate our top top contributors top contributor guys for the last 28 days just so you guys know that i'm not messing messing around this is what it looks like as a admin on this page this is what it looks like we got 22.6 total members and i weed these members out uh anybody who tries to join that doesn't have a proper uh profile i weed them out um uh i look at their friends list if they only have like two friends i deny them uh, so the last 28 days we have about 20 uh, 17 thousand comments reactions that's pretty good guys um but as far as talking contributor guys i know i don't know if you guys uh, some of you guys might not be aware we are running a contest every month now just to get engagement going uh in this group so we can so people can gain knowledge you know the quickest way to learn something is by doing playing game right guys so we're playing a game oh, and we yeah. <laughs> yeah. my son say hi Zavi. Yeah. okay so the quickest way to learn something is by playing a game and we've been doing this for two months now uh two two one are december a top contributor i stole him a shirt and he also won our january uh mm -hmm uh contest so two message me let me know what size you want it's pretty much going to be like a shirt like this that says mo hustlers on there right uh this this is just a sweatshirt uh but it's going to look like this you know with the new logo and everything message me your, your shirt size and uh I'll, once i find a um once i find a I guess a shirt maker. Anybody know any shirt makers? Um, I got this from the mall. So I, I, I want to start mass producing these shirts. Anybody know anybody? Uh, comment their name or tag me. Uh, we're going to start putting a bunch of t shirts. So, as far as the contest for next month, I know the, the previous two months it was just questions. Just to, just to see what everybody would do as far as being a contributor. But the next month, this month, February, I know we're already like six days in. We want to do something new, right? I want to get you guys out of your shell, right? So I want you guys, I want you guys to do a recording and, and tell us what you learned or just tell us something, right? Quick, 
quick 30 seconds or something and just give us some knowledge about real estate it has to be real estate related remember i look through majority of these comments and i delete comments that aren't real estate related and that will make you a top contributor to win a t-shirt all right so uh i mean we can see a big gap here key hey thanks for contributing barely made it barely you barely made it but two got it so two like i said message me what size shirts you want two shirts already and i'll i'll get in touch with you so you can get them all right uh, a couple questions i have a cousin in the stack that does great uh message me um their info um their mom even better right here here how about us mom guys or mom girls i need a hoodie damn i need to step up what up okay so talk contributor two congratulations our, our next month which is this month the new game is a quick video just saying what you learn about anything about real estate you know anything that you learn about real estate that day or if you want to just just to say just to spit out some information doesn't have to be like an hour long just you know i say maybe a minute or less that's good enough so if you guys do that um and i want i want engagement you guys if you guys didn't know it whatever that person is saying say uh hey thanks for info you know give us give give that person some engagement give him some likes or her some likes and uh we you know hopefully they get a t-shirt down the road all right uh any questions on what we're doing this month for as far as top contributors uh while you guys are while i'm waiting so i know there's a delay i want to do a deal analysis i know mary hit me up yesterday she's like we should start going back and do some deal analysis so there was a deal today in the group that i can do a deal analysis for you guys and lee i want to call you out um let me see here this is lee's deal in milwaukee yeah, so let's go back it's a little bit slow lee's deal lee where's your deal there you go this is lee's deal leaving i'm not sure if you guys saw his deal he's looking to sell his deal in the comments he's talking about uh he's talking about this is the address and uh, is the price really i think he's looking to sell it right he's looking to uh still got one rental in milwaukee five bedroom two baths current rent is this much a thousand one hundred eighty he's looking for a cash buyer of fifty eight thousand current currently on one year lease Tanya has a few months left to go month to month under property management care hands off investment to take care so he's got a property manager already managing it he's owned it for five years uh never had any problems uh last year long to move we, we put some k so he put some k into it um you guys are just joining any questions on this deal comment below well, i'll answer it uh, i'm going to do a deal analysis on this right now all right so let's go ahead let me see let me move this over here because this app doesn't really give me any names to call on so this is the deal that we're looking at right now and if anybody looked at this deal yet if anybody done any, any numbers on it yet I'm going to do a quick Google search on this to get the address. This is in Milwaukee. 
Let's click on the map. Archie, let's do this. Let's do a Zillow. And I'll show you guys, this is really easy to do a deal analysis. Uh, two goals, you should just do top five contributors then pick out for a hat. If not two, we'll just win all the t-shirts. Well, we only want one winner. So you gotta fight for the top. Let's do that for now. What's up, Zong? Uh, oh, that was you too. Your, your cousin does t-shirts. Okay, great. Uh, message, message me their uh, their name or their Facebook profile. So we're gonna do a deal analysis from um, from Lee's rental that he's trying to sell. So if you guys are looking to buy, if you guys are in Milwaukee, uh, so this is his address. I actually have a rental in Milwaukee. Um, this is my rental right here. So it's not far from his rental. I could say maybe a block or two. Uh, so he said the neighborhood looks kind of rough. Let me see here. I think he was saying uh, cash deal. He wants a cash deal. My says he's interested. And so info, please. Just call me. Um, Oh, he goes, neighborhood is not the best, but you won't find a better return on cash. Well, I mean, like I said, my rental is right here. His is down here. I don't know if that's big enough of a difference in um, crime or whatever it is, but I haven't driven over there. I, I might have driven by it. I don't know. I'll be up there in uh, the end of the month. To check out what rentals about drive by just to see how bad it is um but uh this is my rental i have a duplex this is my duplex up here and then i have a i have my eight unit right here so it's not far from each other just to let you guys know so let's go ahead and do a deal analysis on this one uh this is his house this is what it looks like uh for let's just say four two but uh, he's probably counting something else. Uh, this is what the house looks like. Sorry, Lee, I'm, uh, I'm calling you out on your deal here. Uh, we're gonna do a quick analysis on it. This is what it looks like. Uh, looks pretty good and it looks, this is back in 2019, so it looks like you renovated a little bit. Uh, looks like he's got a garage. Uh, the, the, the gray theme, which is in this must be the old the old color the yellowish so he went with the the gray modern type uh bathrooms gray gray uh so yeah he just painted gray this is just their living room okay i mean looks looks all right it looks like a i mean people has been renting out of it for a while uh i used to look at uh, projections is SZ estimate. His he's saying all for realtor dot com is saying his estimate is seventy eight six hundred. Z estimate says eighty eight. So we're kind of close in the ballpark. I usually look at this to see what it's been, what the history is. So yeah, he did buy it fifty eight thousand. And now Milwaukee is averaging Lincoln Creek. This is back then. Lincoln Creek is where the area is at. It's 59. And then we're at 2020. So about 80. That's projections. This home's 85. Milwaukee's 130. Okay. So it's about right. Um, okay. Uh, comparable homes. This, as you see here, it's not that comparable. Maybe this is because this is 104 and 1500 square feet. 
and this is 14 1400 square feet 400 so it's about about right about 80 i say about 80 for this house if he was to sell it and he but he purchases it for 58 something uh one year forecast holy cow uh, so Milwaukee is project, projected to go 5% up. It's pretty good. I'm not sure what's going on in the area, but that sounds pretty good. Um, big Dog is up, is up late. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, what's going on? What you been up to, Jimmy? Haven't seen you for a while. Um, all right. So now we got our numbers. I usually look at this. This is kind of gives me a history of what, what it looks like. Um Taxes. So this is taxes. Oh, this is a price tax history. So he solicited for rent, and then he took it out. I guess he's looking to sell it. Bought it 2016. About right. This is the property taxes for 2018. Okay. So, bossy. He just ran the comps. What's up, Ba? What comps are you running it from? Huh? Uh, here, maybe I'll do this so you guys can see better. Just ran the comps. How about that? Okay. So, what I usually do is next is I go to Bigger Pockets. Bigger Pockets. I have a calculator. Bigger Pockets has a calculator. I use I purchase as part of this subscription. All right, log in, and you know, use it when I before I even look to make an offer or so on a deal. This is like what I do as I look at the numbers, right? Numbers. So you go to tools, rental property here. We'll start a new report. All right, so the first thing to do is get the address for this location. This is, all right, copy this address. Let's go here, go to street address, gonna paste, history address. I'm gonna, that's just, just the street. I'm gonna do the city. The city is Milwaukee, Wisconsin, W. Damn, what was the zip code on that? Five three two one six. Low key hustling life for me and big plans. Man, I gotta switch back and forth because I can't see who's uh who's commenting. All right, so let's go to next purchase price. What was he saying, guys? What was what was the amount that he was saying that he was gonna offer it for? He's gonna sell it for. Looking for a cash buyer, 58K. Not bad, right? 58K. B zeros. Closing costs. Closing costs is what? Use about 3%. So 58, 1, 2, 3, times 0 0.03. About what? I just say something. Let's just say 2,000, right? Closing costs. Oh, they changed this around. Loan details. Now we're just going to do straight up cash. Cash purchase. Rental income. So rental income. Gross monthly rent. What, what did uh, Lee said? Lee said it's going to cost. Current rent is eleven eighty. So I go with Zillow. Just to confirm that, Zillow rent estimate about eleven ninety. So he's doing one eighty. Um, okay, so we can go out. We can go off that amount. Eleven eighty because there's current tenant in there. Uh, and then we can do next expense. Okay, it's kind of weird. Monthly expense, property tax. So they're asking for property tax, right? So property tax, we saw here, it was, we just work off this. I just say, this is 2018. I just go off this one, right? 
you guys got any questions by the way go ahead and post it on there i'll read it in a bit if i'm moving too fast i know there's a bunch of uh young hustlers out there oh all the expense it's wrong let's see what they're talking about advance this is like a new thing too that they're adding oh electricity insurance water let's go with insurance right insurance is um i know my my duplex like i said is about 800 it's almost like 900 so let's just go since this is a house let's just do 800 that's uh electricity since it's just a house electricity gas water sewer let's just ignore all that because we're making the tenant pay for it right so yeah so they do something weird here this is kind of optional maintenance ah so this is this is weird this is new also let me go back to the questions and see if you have any questions here if anybody got any questions let me know uh no key no questions huh you guys all know what's going on huh let me take this out clear this so you guys can see better you guys see this okay you guys see because i know it's kind of white um let me know let me know if you guys see this okay uh let me move on and then if you're not i'll switch back i'll change the color somehow uh repairs and maintenance uh, i usually do you hold back three percent so that's like 35 bucks a month vacancy let's just say you're gonna save up for vacancy let's just say uh ten percent much though this is maybe five capital expenditures capital expenditures are like you're trying to save up for like a roof and stuff like that um or a refrigerator and stuff like that something big uh, let's just do another three percent and then management fee that's usually about seven percent um looks good all right who said that looks good macy all right looks good she says do you need to break it down who's saying that do you need jimmy jimmy's saying insurance monthly Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Insurance, you're right. So, yeah, this is like a new thing that they're um, monthly expense. Yeah, so you're right, Jimmy. They changed it on me. So 800 divided by 12, that's $66. Let's say 67 dollars a month. Property tax. Yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. See, you've been gone so long. Need your help, bro. bro. Monthly expense. So it's 162292 per month for property tax. There's nothing there. Six two. All right, I guess I'll do that. Maybe it is round at 163. All right. All right, what do you guys think? This is like a good deal so far. Let me see if I can do it. Quick poll. Add a poll. Let's see, good deal. Answer yes. No. Start. Uh, how's that? Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this poll thing that comes up? Let's see if I can bring this down. Find me. 
I see a pole. Let me move this down. Oh, I got people voting. Wow, this thing works. Yes. I get a couple yes. I got no percentage for no. So I'm going to say yes on this too, just by me guessing. Right? It's 50, 58K, and he's already making a thousand something. So you kind of do the math quickly in your head, right? So if he's he's asking for 58k, 58k, and it's 1,000. Let's just say that's like 58. That's like a thousand a month. It's a thousand a month. So that's like divided by 12. You the house is free and clear within like almost five years. So uh that's just me doing a quick number in my head all right so let me drop this i can't see this survey oh well i'll look at it later so let me drop this survey let me bring this bag deal back up and let's see what the analysis is so Lee, this is what Lee's currently doing, right? It's cause he purchased the house. So first thing I look at, this is this is different too, guys. I haven't seen this. This is my first time looking at this because they redesigned this thing here. First thing I look at is how much money am I making per month on this cash deal? Uh so making 918 per month. Right? And the next thing I'm looking at is my cash on cash. 18% cash on cash. So cash on cash usually when you look at is when you like if you put money in a bank how much you how much are you guys making it back right usually you make about one percent or so so uh you're putting in 58k and you're making 18 percent of that back per year that's pretty good you're beating a stock market stock market is like what uh stock market is about six percent Maybe more now since Trump's in the office. So, um, yeah, average average stock market return is about six percent. So you're beating this the the stock market right now. But so usually, like I said, two things I look at is this: how much am I making per month? If I put fifty eight k down, minus all the expense. So you see, this is the income right here. And this is the expense. How do, how do we get one two oh three i think we put down what let's go back can we edit this i thought we put down um oh it just rounds it up for you so since this is 1180 it just rounds it up to like 1200 that's kind of weird i don't know how they're getting this number but it's close enough so you guys can see So who's saying laughing my ass off, Jimmy? <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? 20% return on investment. Yep, 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 yep. Man, this, I'm not liking this new thing here. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is how it works. So the first year, it's eighteen percent. Second year, eighteen. Third year, nineteen percent cash on cash. Four, five. Remember, I said it was like what? Almost six years. Almost six years. It's, it's going to keep climbing. See that cash on cash climbing? Twenty-one, twenty-four. So. Oh, monthly cash flow. I don't know. Let me go back and look at the numbers. It looks kind of weird. Uh, can you move this? Oh, this is if you move it back and forth. Uh, cash and cash, 81. So, so this I look at also at the end. 
if the numbers looks good, which it does to me after the first year, if I just go right into it, right? That's not right. Why does that number look all different now? Why is that 81? Did I change any of these numbers? Let's go back and edit. This, next, purchase price, closing cost, cash purchase, rental, this amount, expense, 67, taxes. Yeah, okay, I don't know what happened there. So this is the, the numbers after the first year. This is what you, right off the bat, when you purchase it, this is what you will be getting the first year. Oh, I did? Jonathan says I changed my expense. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I'd drag it that much. So uh, we can play a little bit here, right? So let's just say rent increases 5%, right? So 5%. Let's just see what that makes it. Yeah, either way, it's going to go up. Let's make it go back. Yeah, somehow that something's broken in this. this is, I don't like the way this works. This, this might be in beta mode or something. Go back and edit so it look decent. Update analysis. Yeah, I think they just updated this. I don't like the way it looks this week. So there you guys go. This is the deal analysis that that Lee put up that I did for Lee's deal that he's looking to sell, which is this house. What do you guys think? Anybody want to move to Milwaukee? I mean, like I said, my, my little house is right next to it. I don't have any issues. This is his house. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Any questions? Any questions, guys? Now let's do a little, let's play around with numbers there. What if you were able to get a loan for 58000 Let's see how crazy this is going to be. Why don't we do this? What if you guys go to, um, what if you guys were able to milk Lee for 50000 <laughs> hey guys, if you get if you get Lee to sell it for fifty thousand, you make a little bit more money. Let's go back. Uh Jimmy goes, how is vacancy and upkeep of property in that area? Um pretty good, I think, right? I think from what we saw here, I mean I don't have any issues with me. Um, this is how you guys can just kind of read off how how the property's doing. So look, he listed it for sale back in 2019, and then 321 he took it off. So what? 21 minus seven, two weeks, 14 days, got rented. There you go, guys. How did he come up with the rent? Uh, that's probably what he offered. That's what he said in his. Let's see here. Current rent is eleven eighty per month. I don't know. I mean, you might want to ask Lee, but you know, if you look at Zillow, Zillow's estimating eleven ninety. So. Um, that's kind of what he did. What do you guys think? Questions? So he owned it for five years, never had any problems renting it out. So there you go. Uh, Jimmy, there you go. No problems renting it out. And you guys, you can see it took two weeks 
just to rent it out. Let's see here. Uh, it doesn't go back that far. Uh, anything else on this deal that I can point out just by reading this? Questions? Any guys got any questions? What do you guys think? You like you guys like this deal? I mean, for you newbies, this is an amazing deal. For you guys, for those of you guys say I don't have money, I have this screen. There's a screen that says just ran the comps. You guys still see that? Let's see. See that anywhere? No. To me, that's an amazing deal. So let's go back to the numbers again. Like I said, it's all about the numbers, right? If we do a loan, see, if I was able to do a loan, let's, let's go back and edit. So instead of pushing this cash and say, hey, we're going to do a burr strategy, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a loan out uh, for 30 years. Interest rate, let's just say, shoot, 4.5. So you got bad credit. You, you put 20% down, right? So quick math here, 58 times 0.2, you put 11,000 down, 11,600 down, right? Because you don't have the 58. So next, everything else is the same. What do you guys think? Is this a better deal? Yeah, it's a better deal. Always leverage, guys. If you can always leverage instead of putting all your money in, use other people's money. This is how the rich get rich is by leveraging other people's money. And with this, utilizing the bank's money. So it becomes a 21% cash on cash return. Mm, this is still pretty close, right? I don't remember what the number was. That was 900 something. I can't think of anything else. So if you can leverage, if you can if you come up with 11,000 or 1,600, 11,600, find a bank that can loan this out, you can make 21% on that, on that deal. Pay it off in about less than five years if you want to keep it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so sixty-one thousand in five years, you'll you'll make sixty-one thousand off this house. We're not even talking about equity, guys. We haven't even talked about the equity yet. Jonathan goes. Neighborhood isn't the best area, though. Is showing the mortgage. Uh, wow, that is, yeah. Two goes wow that return on investment. Is it showing the mortgage in the calculation? Yes, yes. The calculation done mortgage payment. I don't think it shows it, but it is part of the expense. Let's see here, should be loan amount right here. Uh, annual Does it tell me I'll have to look at it later it's a new uh, it's a new it's a new uh configuration I'm not used to this configuration but low amounts right here it should tell you like how much like this is the 50 percent rule but it's not showing this principal and interest. So, uh, so but if I look at the expense, uh, 
Uh, switch here. What's the most function I expect? I mean, it's extends 67 expense here, probably plus something because it's a little bit more up here. So 67 plus whatever the mortgage and principal is, that's probably what it looks, looks like. So make 918. Let's just see what the difference is. Let's say 918. If I just made a cash offer for him, update. Still 918. 18. That doesn't make sense. This something's broken in, in this calculator. So you see how that number hasn't changed? Let me just refresh it. Update analysis. Yeah, it's not it's not changing. Gotta change it. Loan details, edit, cash, expense, update. Ah, this thing's broken. I don't like, is there a way to switch back? Access the old calculator. That's the old calculator. Tools. Ah, it won't let me. properties I'll do it quickly I'll, I'll do it quickly here because I want to see it too I want to make sure it looks right so the address I'm gonna have to complain to these guys that their new cochlear ain't working So those of you guys who just joined, we're doing a analysis of a deal that we saw that Lee posted earlier. Um, he's trying to sell his Milwaukee deal. It's annual property tax. This is this the amount. We go next. His purchase price, he's saying 58. That's what he wants it for. After pre value, let's just leave that. So, oh, let's just let's say 80,000. After you purchase it, it's now worth 80,000. Closing cost was what? 2,000, I think. 58 times 0.03%. But let's just say 2,000 for closing cost. The cash purchase next. Gross monthly rent, he goes eleven eighty. Water, sewer, PMI, monthly insurance was like sixty six, I think. Uh, that was it, right? Because they 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 pay everything. Vacancy, we're gonna save five percent. Save it for vacancy repair, three percent for maintenance capital, three percent, and then we're gonna have management watch it for seven percent. Calculate the results. So it's eight. 15%. This is your, your monthly cash flow. Oh, uh, yeah. 14% monthly cash. And this number is totally different from, oh, because I did I did something else here. Total project cost. Yeah, I, I say after we fix it, so let's just go. Let's make it like how we did before. Take that out. Not make it. 
Let's make it the same for the eight. Yeah. Something is, yeah, that cochlear. I don't know. I trust this one more. Still, it's still a pretty good number. You're still making seven hundred eighty three dollars a month and you're breaking you're breaking um cash on cash to uh about fifteen. Questions, questions. I still like these numbers. Yeah, something something's still broken. Their thing's broken, guys. Total cash. Oh, because hey, that's right, sixty thousand. Because it's fifty-eight thousand, and then two thousand for closing costs of sixty thousand. That's so that's right. So this is the deal that I just analyzed that was posted earlier with Lee. Lee, sorry for calling you out. Just wanted to do a quick analysis. I know it's a good deal. Um. For me, it is. I don't know about you guys, but for you newbies who wants to make money, we didn't talk about equity, but the deal is worth eighty, right? So you got additional uh, twenty thousand in there if you sell it, right? But if you don't sell it, this is what you're making, which is like totally crazy right now. I mean, this money is like outrageously a lot more than what you can find right now. Let's see if there's any questions here. Well, there you guys go. There you go, Mary. This is your deal analysis that you want to see. This is what I look at. This is what I do when I look at my deals. And for those top contributors, especially to message me what size shirt you guys want it's gonna look like it's gonna look like let me bring this down it's gonna look kind of like this it's gonna look like a shirt but it's gonna shirt and uh that's it guys so the next contest for February, it's going to be just post a video yourself saying what I learned. I'll give you guys an example. Um, what I learned, I'm selling one of my houses right now. Um, so the seller is saying that, so this would be an example. So uh, you come on, do a quick video, say, hey, this is what I learned today about real estate. My name is Shai. This is what I learned today about real estate. Uh, I got. Uh, I just, I just approved an offer. Um, seller wants three percent of the closing costs from the purchase price. So in this case here, it was. Uh, let me do a quick math here. Um, Two hundred thousand, just to say, times point zero three. So that's like six thousand dollars in closing costs. But if I look at his closing costs, uh, it's you know, it's like about four. Let's just say four thousand. Let's just say his closing costs, which came out, it came out to four thousand. So if you take four thousand minus uh, from the six thousand that you gave him for closing costs, so that's two thousand additional that that you. So you already pay four thousand for the closing costs, right? So that two thousand dollars is kind of like, you know, where's it go? You can't, you can't, you can't put it anywhere else. So that two thousand comes back to you, right? So you you can you agree that it, you can you're paying his closing costs, which is three percent, but his closing costs only came up to four thousand. So that two that two thousand as you came back comes back to you. You get to keep that. So. That's why I learned about real estate. Stuff like that. That's about 30 seconds, a minute. Post that. Uh, those of you guys that, you know, if that's useful, go ahead, guys. Just hit like, comment, say, hey, great info. Give them that. 
you know, give them that, hey, thanks for putting yourself out there. Thanks for sharing knowledge. And, you know, hopefully they win. We'll, I'll give them a, you know, a T-shirt. And, you know, uh, let's congratulate those people that actually, you know, um, supply information to the group, you know, valuable information so we all can learn and uh, be successful. All right. Hope you guys are hustling every day, every week. I'm here. If you guys have questions, message me privately if you want to, but I prefer you guys message in the group so everybody can learn. Uh, we want to make all you guys become successful. Um, that's it. Keep hustling. Have a good night, guys.